Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So Tech Kaoken Goku and Fizz Vegeta are both going to be getting their Extreme Z Awakenings on JP in about a day from now. And earlier today, we just got their details for the EZAs. So why don't we start with the Goku first? And as always, we'll talk about his pre-Extreme Z Awakening details and then his, uh, you know, post-Extreme Z Awakening details so you guys can compare the two. So... His leader skill is Goku's family category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, or tech types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, super attack raises attack and defense, causes supreme damage, and passive is key plus 1 at the start of each turn, and defense plus 60% when there is a Vegeta's family category enemy, and then attack and defense plus 90% when performing a super attack, and then key plus 6 and attack plus 60% when HP is 60% or less, so that's pre-Extreme Z Awakening. Now, with the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill will be Goku's family, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, or tech types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack greatly raises attack, raises defense, and causes supreme damage, and passive will be key plus 1 at the start of each turn, defense plus 70%, when there is a Vegeta's family category enemy, attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, key plus 7, and attack plus 70% when HP is 70% or less, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 7%. Her tech key sphere obtained up to 30%. So, one thing you might notice is that they basically just gave them a 10% increase across the board, right? So, for the leader skill, it goes from 120%. 130% for Goku's family, and then 90% to 100% for tech types, and then for the passive, instead of, you know, 60%, 90%, and 60% here, it becomes 70%, 100%, and 70%, and instead of the 60% HP restriction for this extra boost, it's now a 70% HP restriction, which of course means that it's easier to get. Now this part with the uh, critical hit chance is new, so we get up to 30% critical hit chance with, um, I guess, five key spheres obtained, right? Now, on the surface, it might not seem super impressive. It might not seem like he got a huge upgrade, but the thing is, both of these units were already very good before the EZA. Like, I would argue that they didn't really need Extreme Z Awakenings. There are a bunch of other units in this game right now that need the EZA a lot more than the Goku and Vegeta. So the fact that they got an Extreme Z Awakening and got some nice upgrades and yo, okay, one thing I didn't mention is that instead of just raising attack, now it's greatly raising attack. That will make a huge difference in longer events. And of course, they also get better stats, right? So now with the EZA, he gets up to 13,556 HP, 17,500 and four attack and 11,517 defense. So this much attack, greatly stacking every single turn, also still stacking defense. He's gonna be insane. Like do not sleep on this Goku. Also some quick maths, his additional attack and defense plus 100% is calculated separately for a total boost of 240% attack when HP is 70% or less and defense plus 240% when facing a Vegeta's family category enemy. So that is the Tech Kaoken Goku Extreme Z Awakening. Extremely impressive. I'm excited for this guy. Now, you guys can probably guess that the Vegeta Extreme Z Awakening is very similar. So before the EZA, his leader skill is Vegeta's family category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, or Fizz type key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. And then his super attack raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage. And passive is key plus one at the start of each turn, attack plus 60% when there is a Goku's family category enemy, attack and defense plus 90% when performing a super attack, and then key plus six and defense plus 60% when HP is 60% or less. And then with the Extreme Z Awakening, it becomes Vegeta's family category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 130%, or Fizz types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack greatly raises attack, raises defense, and causes supreme damage. And passive is key plus one at the start of each turn, and then attack plus 70% when there is 
a Goku's family category enemy, attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, P plus 7, and defense plus 70% when HP is 70% or less, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% per Fizz Key Sphere obtained up to 30%. So essentially the exact same passive as Goku, except replace Vegeta's family with Goku's family, and replace Tech Key Spheres with Fizz Key Spheres, and uh, of course, leader skill 2, instead of Goku's family, it's Vegeta's family, and instead of tech types, it's Fizz types. But uh, these two units are very, very similar. Obviously, different links, different categories. In terms of the stats, Vegeta will have up to 16,628 HP, 16,598 attack, and 10,611 defense. Now, overall, I would say Goku is definitely the superior unit, mainly because of the stats. As you can see, Vegeta has far higher HP than Goku, right? Like Goku has, I think, 13,556, uh, but attack and defense wise, Goku is superior by like quite a bit. And uh, let's be honest, man, like HP does matter, obviously, but attack and defense are, I think, far more important. So just based on the stats, I would say Goku definitely wins this one, especially in the future when they finally drop that legendary Vegeta event. I mean, it's gotta happen at some point, right? We just gotta be patient and Goku will absolutely annihilate that event whenever it drops. Now, with all that said, both these units look amazing. Both of these Extremes the Awakenings, I think are very well done. And uh, there you go, guys. That is the full breakdown for Tech Goku, Tech Kaioken Goku, and Fizz Vegeta's Extreme Sea Awakenings. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them. Are you excited for them? Are you impressed? Are you disappointed? Whatever your opinion, let me know in the comments down below. And that's it, guys. That's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching today's video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.